Earlier this year, scientists in Scotland published the results of an experiment that attempted to test whether reality is objective like we all assume, or if individuals can experience their own subjective, unique realities. Obviously, if reality wasn't the same for all of us, it'd be bombshell news, right? The scientific method depends on this. We establish facts through repeated measurements agreed upon by everyone. Well, this story is a little complicated. We're a new science channel. Subscribe if you like learning about discoveries like this. It turns out that when this paper was published earlier this year, it did cause headlines. The MIT Technology Review wrote, a quantum experiment suggests there's no such thing as objective reality. And they were accurately reporting on what the paper by physicists at Harriet Watt University was getting at. But the scientists' interpretation of what their experiment meant has been called into question by other physicists. In case you need to brush up on quantum mechanics, here's a little background. We use this theory to explain microscopic things like atoms, electrons, and photons. Quantum physics says an atom is not a mini solar system like you were probably taught in school, filled with mostly empty space. Rather, it's a nucleus surrounded by a smooth, probabilistic cloud that is everywhere inside the atom. Different parts of the cloud contain different probabilities of where the electron will be when it is observed. What's really interesting about this is, the probabilities themselves of finding a particle at any given position are arranged like a wave called the wave function. There are higher probability areas of the wave and lower probability areas. We know this because of the double slit experiment, which showed electrons, when passed through a double slit, displayed diffraction patterns similar to light or water waves. This is why a wave equation can explain the behavior of particles. Some physicists believe wave functions collapse to specific points when observed. Others believe wave functions never collapse though. Rather, measurement entangles the thing being observed with the observer. Because of this, there is now a superposition that includes all possible outcomes of a measurement. We're simplifying this, but generally speaking, this idea is the basic concept behind the many worlds interpretation of quantum physics. This theory suggests the wave function splits into branches that represent each unique measurement outcome. These branches are different worlds that don't affect each other. So, there's a version of you that clicked on this video, and a version of you that didn't, according to this theory. Getting back to the experiment on objective reality. The scientists attempted to figure out if observers can obtain measurements that are inconsistent with each other implying the two observers are experiencing their own realities. Here's how their experiment was set up. Consider two laboratories controlled by Alice and Bob. Inside the labs, Alice's friend and Bob's friend measure the polarization of a photon that can either be horizontal or vertical. Both Alice's friend and Bob's friend measure their own photon. Outside of the lab, Alice and Bob can either measure their friend's records individually or they can jointly measure the photons themselves, establishing their own measurements. The findings from Harriet Watt suggest Alice and Bob's own measurements of the photon aren't always consistent with what they observe from their friends, meaning that Alice and Bob can experience a different reality from their friends if they measure the results together, right? Well, it's important to note that in this experiment, Alice, Bob, and the friends weren't conscious observers and they weren't even macroscopic machines. They were just individual photons. As Sean Carroll of Caltech wrote, the idea that the observer sees a definite outcome is replaced by one photon becomes entangled with another photon. This matters because the process is reversible and does not lead to multiple copies of Alice, Bob, and their friends. Why? Because it's strongly arguable that a measurement did not actually take place here. Obtaining photon polarization data by using other photons is not the same as having large, macroscopic humans or machines observe the results. So to use names like Alice, Bob, and their friends is a little misleading. If the data would have been inconsistent had that occurred, we could then argue that there are multiple copies of people observing different results. But this was not how the experiment was set up. We can then call into question the conclusions media articles made from this and say, objective reality remains, and human experience does not seem to be subjective, as far as we know. There is a great summary of other objections by physicists linked below. Hit the notification bell if you haven't yet, and ask any questions in the comments.